My name's Olivia and I'm a musician from Sunderland. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the piano, which is the instrument that I play. Um, I've been playing the piano now for around about 15 years. Um, ever since my first piano lesson, I've just absolutely loved it. Um, I've got a real passion for music, it's something that I love to do. Being a musician has opened lots of doors for me personally. Um, I've played in some great venues, I've met a lot of friends through music um, and I've been playing in a couple of different bands for a lot of years now. Um, I'm always striving to get better at my instrument, I'm always practicing, I'm always learning new things um, and it's just something that I love to do. So I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the piano uh, and what it does. Um, so it's made up of a bunch of different keys, each key makes a different pitch. This piano that I've got here is a digital piano. Um, this means that I can alter the volume, I can change the sound. So for example here I can play quite quiet. I can turn the volume all the way up. So this feature in particular is great if you're just practicing. Um, I can also stick a pair of headphones in, that means nobody can really hear what I'm playing. Um, there's also a bunch of different sounds on this piano, so we've got normal piano like you've just heard, um, we've got the electric piano, um, we've got an organ sound. So there's a bunch of different sounds on this piano. Um, so typically your traditional piano, which is an acoustic piano, would just be your normal piano sound um, and it wouldn't be electric like this one. Traditional pianos have lots of different strings inside of them and these strings are hit by a hammer. So when you press the key, the hammer then presses the string, which then creates the sound out of the piano. So there is a little bit of a debate as to which instrument family the piano actually falls into. Um, a lot of people believe it's a percussion instrument, a lot of people believe it's a stringed instrument. So percussion because we hit the keys like we would hit any other percussion instrument such as a drum or a stringed instrument because like I've just said, um, traditional pianos are made up of a bunch of different strings. Um, so it can kind of fall into either category. Um, in my opinion, I'd probably go with it being a percussion instrument just because of the hitting of the hitting of the keys. So the piano is different to a lot of instruments in the sense that it lets us play more than one note at once. Uh, really, if we wanted to, we could play as many notes as we wanted on the piano. Um, so that means we can play chords. So I'll play a C, an E and a G. That gives us the C major chord. Um, we can also do things like I play bass notes with my left hand and a little melody with my right hand. So that's two parts together. Um, so I'll just play you a little something. Um, I've also got a pedal which I'm pressing all the time with my foot and um, this is called a damper or a sustain pedal and what this does is it mixes the notes together quite nicely um, and just creates a much warmer sound when you're playing. Um, so I'll play something without the pedal first and now I'll press the pedal down and you'll be able to hear the difference between the two. notice how the second time um, it sounded a lot warmer, a lot nicer. So now I'm just going to play you a little bit something on the piano, just a few different examples. Um, it's important to point out that as a piano player um, you do learn so many different things, so many different styles of music, so many different genres um, and it's important just to be willing to give everything a go because sometimes you might not think you're going to like something and then you, you play for the first time and you absolutely love it so it's important just to give everything a go.
So I hope you've all enjoyed this little introduction to the piano and I hope it's given you a little insight as to how it all works and I do really hope that it might have inspired some of you to want to give it a go in the future and become a musician like myself. So yeah, thanks for watching.